Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. And you can see I'm at my door right now. And I've always told you, man, there's such cool nature just outside your door. Well, out here today, it's really, really cold. So I thought I'd take this opportunity today not to do nature at your door, but nature inside your door. And we're going to go inside and I'm going to show you some nature that I got inside. It's pretty cool from a natural history perspective, but not so cool if you don't like to have bugs in your house. We're going to look at a bug called a stink bug. And it's a true bug, and it's not a welcome visitor in most people's houses. And we're going to look at its natural history, its biology, how it got here, and what you can do if you have stink bugs in your house. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. And here's the make this basic. It's exotic. Dogwoods are flowering. And I just took a couple swipes. Terrestrial environment. Uh, produce seed pollen. And it's. Well, let's go on a stink bug hunt. Let's see if we can find some stink bugs. And I'm pretty sure that we're going to have some success here today. One of my first places I want to look is the stink bug habitat by this sliding glass door right here. And a lot of times I'll see those stink bugs here in the corners or on this uh, sliding glass. There's a, uh, there's a ladybug. Let's take a look here. And sure enough, there's a stink bug now. They're always attracted to these doors where there's a lot of western sun. Another good place to look for them is on their windowsill. Here is a ladybug, and here is a stink bug walking across. Another great stink bug habitat in this house is here in the bathroom where they might be attracted by the moisture because the house is pretty dry and they're often in these cracks and crevices on the edge of the window and let's zoom in here and sure enough there is a stink bug right there in the corner so just who is this stink bug that's in my house well, there's over 200 species of stink bugs here in the United States alone, many more species worldwide. And this one is called the brown marmorated stink bug. And it's an invasive species. Invasive species are species that are alien, that are not native to the particular area, and cause either ecological or economic damage. And this one probably does both. Invasive species typically have a high reproductive rate. They didn't evolve with the natural ecology. They don't have any predators. And they find an abundance of food and apparently temperatures and climate are just right for this species of stink bug that originally came from Asia and its population has really, really taken off. So how do you identify a stink bug, and especially this particular one? Well, stink bugs are sometimes called shield bugs because their abdomen is definitely kind of in the shape of a shield. If you look at this one closely, you can see that it has white and black or white and dark banding on the antenna and on the edges of its abdomen. See these black and white bands along here and the black and white bands on the antenna. So this identifies it distinctly as the brown marmorated stink bug. So these guys are definitely brown or maybe even a grayish color. Marmorated refers to the marbling pattern or that banded pattern. And stink bugs, well, they stink. So that's how they get their name, brown marmorated stink bug. And they're pretty easy to identify with these features. So exactly what kind of bug is a stink bug? And well, the word bug is actually a category in the insect world. It's a category of insects that have, instead of mouth parts, they have a proboscis or a stylet, which might be represented by this straw right here. So when these guys feed, Instead of biting things, they take this proboscis 
And just like a straw in a juice box, they'll penetrate the item that they want to take advantage of for nutrition and suck the juices out. Just like that. So bed bugs are hemipterans. They're bugs. And they seek humans for a blood meal. And so they are stabbing you with their proboscis to get that blood meal out. Another bug that you might know is the assassin bug. And the assassin bug does the same thing, but it takes its proboscis and penetrates insects and first injects digestive juices inside the insects and then after they've digested the insides of the insects it sucks out that nutrition. Stink bugs do the same thing to plants and they're particularly damaging to fruits because they'll take this their proboscis stab into a leaf or a fruit or a seed or even through the ears of corn to get in at the kernels on the inside and they'll suck out the nutrition from plant material that they're eating. And they cause a lot of damage. This is a stink bug I found dead on the windowsill. But the really interesting thing that I wanted to show you here is this structure. This is that proboscis. This is the part that he can extend and stab plants with. This, you can see, is almost half as long as his body. And it begins here, and it ends here. And this guy's all dried up. He's been on the windowsill for a few days. So every I can't really move it like he would when he's alive. So where did these guys come from? Until 1996, we didn't have any record of their appearance. They first appeared in Allentown, Pennsylvania in 1996, which I think is kind of interesting because that's very near to where I went to college and got my first biology degree. They think they came in some crates from Japan or China that had machinery and tools in them. They escaped and started to reproduce. By 2012, they were in 40 of the 50 states. And in 2011, they documented they produced $37 million worth of damage to the apple crop. And again, what they do is they take that proboscis and they stab the thing they're going to eat. And when they stab an apple or a peach, they penetrate the surface of the skin. They leave a sunken spot. And then the inside starts to decay and go bad. And so the fruit is really unsaleable in that condition. So the next question is, why are they coming inside our houses? There's nothing to eat here. Well, they're coming in just like the ladybugs I just did an episode on. They come in to escape winter. These insects overwinter as adults. So in the fall, they'll gather in warm places and try to find a place to hibernate. So a house turns out to be a great place to hibernate and they'll look for cracks and crevices to get inside and they'll find the warmth inside and that's where they're going to want to be. Once they're inside, they don't reproduce, stink bugs don't bite, they don't lay eggs, they don't eat anything. They're essentially trying to be in a state called diapause. That's an insect resting state where they don't develop sexually, they don't eat, and they just want to wait out until spring gets here. And come springtime, that's when a lot of these will start emerging from inside your walls because they got in in the fall, they've been hiding out there, and they want to get back outside again. So they don't really want to come in your house. They just want to stay in a warm place for the winter and then get back outside again so they can continue their life cycle. So as annoying as stink bugs are in your home, remember that the real damage is out there. It's to vegetables and crops and gardens and agriculture. So inside, they're kind of a nuisance. And one of the reasons they're a big nuisance is, well, because they stink. And if you try to move a stink bug or disturb him or crush him or smash him, he'll release this foul-smelling, acrid, excretion from glands in between his legs that some people say smells like a really pungent cilantro. This excretion and some of their other droppings, like all insect droppings, can stain things around your windows and your windowsills and the casements of your windows. So it's not a nice thing. 
why do they release this pungent, nasty smelling odor thing? Well, it was originally as a defense against predators like lizards or birds to make them very distasteful. So they're not really great to have in our houses. So what can you do about stink bugs that are in your house? Well, if you spray them with insecticide, that will kill them if you spray them on the surface, but most of them are hidden under the walls. And the ones that you do see in spray, well, you're still gonna have to clean them up or vacuum them up. So what I do is I have a handheld battery vacuum that I can vacuum them up with, remove the uh, container on the side and dump them outside. Another suggestion is if you have a vacuum cleaner, you can't just vacuum live bugs into your vacuum cleaner because they'll be in your vacuum bag. And unless you empty that vacuum bag right now, they'll come back inside. So people have suggested putting in a stocking into the tube of the vacuum cleaner and putting a rubber band around it and letting that catch the insects. And then you can take that part out and take the insects outside. I'm never a big advocate about killing things. The bottom line, best thing to do with when you, if you have a stink bug problem is the following year, caulk up your house real good. Caulk up every crack, crevice, around windows, doors, anywhere you can find a space, inject some caulk in there. So the best thing to do is prevent them from getting indoors. Pesticides inside are not very effective because uh, they don't really walk around in it. And the only ones that will get the pesticide are probably the ones you see, so you gotta pick up their bodies anyway. So the bottom line, the best preventative is to seal up your house. If you do have them inside, Virginia Tech, a local university, did a two, three year research study in 16 homes on how to eliminate stink bugs that are in your house. And they tried a lot of different commercial traps, some of them costing $50 or more. And you know what they found out worked the best? And sometimes as many as 14 times better as the commercial products is to get a pan like this, this is a turkey basting pan, put in water and some dish detergent and put a light over the top. The insects are attracted to lights. They do fly, and that's another nuisance. If you're sitting by a light reading a book, you sometimes get dive bomb at night by these stink bugs, and I think that's the worst. So this trap is very effective. You can make it with uh, materials you got around your house. You don't have to go out and really buy anything. Just get a pan of water with soap, put a light over it, and that's gonna attract the, the stink bugs, and the soapy mixture uh, causes them to drown in the water. So thanks for watching Nature at Your Door. I hope you enjoyed this indoor episode on the brown marmorated stink bug. Please subscribe, give me a like. I love getting comments. Please leave me comments. Let me know what you thought of this video or what you learned or, or what you've got to share with our viewing audience. I get so much more information and learn so much from people who watch. Uh, we appreciate your contribution to our learning community about nature. Go outside, see what you can find.